What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junk. Guys, you know this war uh, that is currently going on with Russia and Ukraine. Um, it has been quite. It's been quite interesting to see how the world has responded to it. Not only the world, but businesses. All right, and I, you know, you guys know Dima edits for me. Dima is Russian, um, so he's told me that, you know, obviously the ruble has risen um, to the dollar, but things are like forty percent more expensive, especially imports to the country. So, and if you're like one of these really rich people, like one of these Russian billionaires, a lot of them, their money is now frozen in U.S. assets and things like that. Um, but not only that. For the normal person in Russia, um, things are things are becoming more expensive. So if you earn in Russian rubles right now, um, your life has become, you know, almost overnight, forty percent more expensive to eat things and do certain things like that. Now, one of the things that a lot of people, as far especially the girls, they like, you know, OnlyFans models, IG models. If they have a global audience, they can make money in dollars or pounds which in their own local economy, you know, they wouldn't be able to, you know, earn that kind of money. But let's say, for example, if you're a Russian model, um, if you have OnlyFans, you might be able to make thousand dollars each month. And which is good because you can convert that money into um, rubles, right? And, and the money's guaranteed. The problem is that OnlyFans creators in Russia had their account suspended. In some cases, their accounts deleted. All right. And they were cut off from making money as a result of what happened to uh, Russia and Ukraine. It's so much so that you even have girls who are denouncing Russia inside of Russia. Like we stand with Ukraine and and all of this. Like, please do not punish us. We didn't do anything. And I'm like, you know, they're making these bold statements. Right. And um, so and I, I want to talk about this. Uh, you know, after hearing this, okay. Number one, people are most loyal to folks who can do something for them. And I think in the black community, we got to remember that, right? O other communities understand this more or less than we do. If you have an opportunity for people to feed themselves, people to do stuff, a lot of times people don't care as much about nationality, all right? People don't care a, a, a whole lot about race. But if you're doing something for me, I will denounce any goddamn thing to get my money. All right. I think a lot of times you think about people who have race loyalty and things like that. I don't think it's the case. People are loyal to those people who can do something for them. All right. Which we're seeing this right now. Secondarily, what I want to add is a lot of ladies right now, not only in Russia, because look at the crisis. What about the ladies who don't have access, who are very, very beautiful? They're in Russia right now. And they don't have access to any of this stuff. Just, 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 just understand what they're going through right now. So look at what it is. It's COVID plus the fact that your economy has become over expensive overnight. Not only that, you're talking about young ladies that were in Africa, they were in Ukraine, stuck there, they're coming to Poland. You know, these sorts of things show me how much help women need. How how vulnerable women can become without being without having families. Cause I don't think these Russian women on, on only only fans have husbands, things like that, investments and things like that. I, I doubt that. All right. A lot of people are vulnerable, and people who are most vulnerable to these things are women and children. I know that because in Poland, that's what's going on right now in the country. You have all these people coming from all over, you know, the Ukraine and and, and, and immigrants there, no place to stay. And if you don't have anything in dollars or whatever, like you, like you, you, you can't get a lot of support where you're at in, in some of these countries, you know, the Russians of the world, the Ukrainians of the world, the Nigerians of the world. And then you, 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 re, you really transpose it to our economy. What happened to a lot of women in, 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 uh, in, in during the COVID and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of women just didn't have a lot of support. And, and it goes back to this whole idea of, I don't need no man. I'm single, which, you know, these women are being supported by men on OnlyFans. 
and it it, it, it goes back to the to, to the situation is like these ladies need to have like why are they not getting like what's going on with the with the family structures here women were talking about they you know and she she don't have money to live in the long term we're jobless um you know she said this stay music in short term i don't have money to live this is one of the ig models um in long term we're all jobless um, she says that many Russian creators turn to OnlyFans over the past few years because most full-time jobs in Russia offer low-paying salaries. Now we need to go to another platform and spend several years to reach our last incomes we did, we did, as we did on OnlyFans. We are all surviving here. So they're surviving on OnlyFans. So think about it. You're a woman in your country. You cannot even survive off your local economy to feed yourself. That's a lot of women all over the world. A lot of single women have this problem. Okay. And when a lot of women are are, are, are going towards is this kind of whole, you know, single thing and I, I don't need a man, all kind of stuff. And clearly, clearly what you see is that right now, like in Poland, for example, you have like, like students being charged like a hundred bucks a night for a hostel. They don't have that money. What are they going to do? What are you going to do? And I think that you gotta, you, we, we gotta go back to those. Hey, how do we get our daughters married to men who can, who can, who want to be with them, who they want to be with, and they can take care of them, so they don't end up like this. That has to be the conversation. God forbid my daughter has to be on OnlyFans because we don't have a community around her to do anything for. Her. God forbid. But this is happening right now. Okay. And OnlyFans is not like consistent money or anything. You know, people can change their pledges. It's like Patreon, you know, people, you know, can do different things and do different things. There's a lot of competition and all that. There's many different beautiful women on OnlyFans and all of this. And it just goes to show you how, how, how vulnerable a lot of these women are across the world. It's not just an American thing or a black woman or a white woman thing. You're seeing this as the world is changing. Women are not, uh, you know, they're having a harder time adapting to the, to, 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 to the new economy. And I mean, long-term. The way you build wealth is years and years and years and having families. But well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I already appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.